find the time now. Let's move on with other news now. The supermarket giant Iceland has continued to sell own brand products containing palm oil despite pledging to stop doing so by the end of last year. A BBC investigation found the chain was unable to meet the de deadline and simply removed its name, its branding, from some items rather than the ingredient of palm oil. We're going to talk to the managing director of Iceland Foods in a moment, find out what's going on. Here's a reminder of what's been going on. In April, a promise was made to remove palm oil from all their own brand products by the end of 2018. The supermarket giant Iceland said its demand was devastating rainforests in Asia. Into November, they sparked controversy over this advert, highlighting the damage caused by some palm oil farming. I'll fight to save your home and I'll stop you feeling blue. It was barred from being broadcast because it promoted a political issue, but the company did promote it on social media and received significant attention and praise from online consumers. Despite the pledge, a BBC investigation discovered Iceland had 28 of their own products for sale online containing palm oil, as well as more than 600 from other brands. These frozen desserts have had their label removed. The company admitted to erasing their name from 17 of their branded goods containing the ingredient. Well, Richard Walker, Managing Director of Iceland Foods, joins us now from our London newsroom. Thank you very much for talking to us this no morning. No problem. Sorry I can't be there in person. No, that's fine. We've got you anyway. We're going to be talking to you. Um, you're in person down the camera. That will work. So let's talk about palm oil and mm. um, how many... Um, products, Iceland products, have palm oil in at this moment in time? Well, you've referred to 28 products that your investigation found on the website. That was merely a website glitch. It wasn't reality. It was a technical issue, and we, we cleared that up in, in a day. And I should thank the BBC for alerting us to it. Um, we do have some old stock of product that was manufactured last year, um, and I'm not going to chuck it in the bin, and I can't give it away to food banks because it's frozen. The right thing to do is sell it through, and that's a very short-term issue, and will be out within a matter of weeks. And there's about 30 lines. OK, um, how, many, how, what's, how many weeks? So when will you... Because so that, that's when, yeah. with these old products, that's when you can say, because you, you've missed your deadline of the no, end of 2018. We, listen, so that's listen. When, that, let me just finish my point, sorry. Yep, that's sure. when you can say... Iceland is completely palm oil free. So in a matter of weeks is... When? Iceland, Iceland is completely palm oil free and we have met our deadline. I think what's interesting about this investigation, if this guy would have called me, I would have told him. We've been totally transparent and that's why I took Iceland off the labelling of uh, these products as a short-term measure for a couple of months until April when we're going to move them back in. It was only ever a temporary move. And instead of focusing on the 3%, the 17 products, why not focus on the 97%, the 450 products, where we've removed palm? Shall I tell you why? Shall I tell you why people don't focus on that? Because when a store does something that's admirable, to be completely honest, it's impressive that you say we're tackling something that environmentalists and conservationists have been talking about, we're mm. getting rid of palm oil. You make a big PR campaign about it, and rightly so. Shout about what you're doing well. When you don't meet the stipulations that you laid down, that you said, and, it's, uh, and you say it's only 3%. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, if but the stipulations them, that's, we that's said when, were That's own when label it shouted products. about. No, the stipulations we said were products with our name on it. That's why we took it off. I could have held a gun to our head to our suppliers and told them they've got to do it or else by the end of the year, but they couldn't quite manage it. I don't understand why, you know, this non-story is blowing up. Okay, I'll tell you what, what. we need to focus on, we are, we are sleepwalking into an environmental disaster and corporations are doing nowhere near enough, but is it any wonder? Rather than celebrating this incredible effort that my 25,000 staff has achieved. I am damn proud of what they've done. We're, we're, we're being tripped up by journalists who are trying to focus on 17 lines, which are temporary, and are going to go back into own label. Um, the okay. 70 million people who watch Rangtang, the advert that you referred to, that created a mass global movement, and it forced companies, it helped force companies like Wilmar, 40% of the market, the biggest palm oil producer in the world, to commit to zero deforestation. I think what my staff and my suppliers have achieved is nothing short of incredible. Did you know this much about palm oil a year ago? I doubt it. Well, um, actually, and, and it is something I'm interested in, but I'm not, the sto I'm not the story here. And as I have said, it is admirable when a company takes on conservation Thank issues. You. But 
The problem is when you have a, a situation where, say, for example, and you've seen the pictures, you've seen the pictures of your products yeah. where just the name Iceland has been removed. Yeah. And did you advertise that? Did you say this is what we're going to have to do? Or did you just take the name off? And so most people who pick up a packet which looks familiar in their everyday shop are picking up what they think now is palm, palm oil free because Iceland said it would be. We, but it isn't. I, I, I talk to people about it. I talk to NGOs about it. And what about, like you, I said, what about if, your customers if, in the same advertising it, campaign? We've put it on our website. I've written a blog about it. If someone would have asked me, I would have told them, to be honest, there's a big learning here. I had no idea this would be such an issue. But, you know, with people looking to trip you up, it clearly is. And therefore, I... next time, I need to be overly transparent, even about issues like this, that, that I don't think are a, a, a problem at all. I think it's interesting. You don't have to be overly transparent, in my humble opinion. Transparent is absolutely fine. I think what is also interesting is when you say you can't hold a gun to suppliers' heads. Now, let's talk about this. Take, take almost Iceland out of context. Let's talk about mm. business as a whole trying to yep. do good. When you can't hold a gun to suppliers' heads, which is understandable, how quickly can the food industry move on or, you know, the, the cosmetics industry move on in terms of yeah. trying to do good, trying to it's get a, rid of palm oil? It's a good question because, we, like I said, we, we faced a, a catastrophe and we need to be fostering and encouraging businesses to do the right thing. Um, and it, it is a mountain that we need to climb, but we need to try and create a culture where we're celebrating and applauding amazing environmental achievements like zero deforestation by the biggest palm oil player. And I think only then will companies get their heads out of the sand and take on big challenges like removing palm oil and removing plastic. Richard Walker, thank you for taking thank the you time so talking to us on BBC Breakfast this morning, Managing Director of Iceland Foods.